Now let's see how to manage the internal design of our apartments. We can either check the local Beam object library or our online service, which is daily updated with new 3D model from us but also from our customers. So let's for example search for a king size bed. I will choose this one and so I will click download from here. Now my model is already anchored to the mouse cursor. I can always change the alignment with the F5 and F6 function keys. And then I just have to click into my building wherever I want to insert this model. I will use the same object also for the other bedroom of this floor plan. Then again from the online beam object library, I will select a wardrobe. Same procedures as seen before. I will change the alignment and then just click into my room. In this way I can insert all the 3D model present in my building. And so I can design my bedroom, my bathroom, my kitchen, as you can see here. Now let's make invisible all of this model. So I have the visibility that I need to insert some other object. So let's say, for example, I want to insert a skirter. And to do so I will use the solid extrusion. So select the tool from the menu, then choose a proper section from the beam object library and start drawing the extrusion by inserting vertex node. Also here, I will probably need to change the alignment, so again F5 and F6 until the alignment is correct. It's the same on the side, and as before I will use the hide of the snap function. To this object I will assign the same wooded materials used before for this floor. Now let's come back to the 2D view because I want to show you how to insert the stairs object. But before, I will need to adjust the side of the balcony slab. So let's choose the stairs tool from the menu. By clicking on my drawing, I will access the editor of the stairs. From the new menu, I can select the style of my stairs object. With the F5 and F6, I will change the alignment of this object. And with the F7 and F8 keys, I can apply a rotation. Now I'm inserting a landing and then another ramp. But this time, the second ramp is too long, so I will select it. And from the properties panel, I can change the number of rising. Then click confirm, and this is the result in the 3D view. Of course, I can change the materials of each part of the stairs. For example, I can use the same material of the floor for the rising and for the trade of my stairs. Now let's come back on the 2D view, where I will show you another useful function that allows me to insert a beam by using the magic wand. For example here, I just have to trace a selection rectangle over my DWG reference drawing. Now we'll select all of them from the 3D view. And from the beam object library, I will select an appropriate section. Now let's suppose we want a multi-story building, and so what we need to do is to open the level manager from here and adding all the levels we want. So for example I want to insert a second and third floor, and as I'm using this as a first floor, I will also insert a ground floor and a basement. Then I will insert a last floor over here, which will be with a different internal height. So now this is my zero elevation, and all the other elevation will be automatically adapted. And so coming back to the 2D view, I will open the copy toolbox, then copy all the entity for this floor, and this is the result in the 3D view. Of course this building will need some editing. For example I don't need the sun shade on the ground floor and the railing as well, and so I will select and delete it. We also know that the stairs object in some floor need to be moved in a new position. And so I will select it and change the position from here. And also the balcony slab need to be readapted. And so I will select the segment of the polyline and I will move each node in the correct position. Now for the third and fourth floor, I want to design something totally different. And so let's open the third level Select all the internal objects on this floor and delete it. 
and I will start a new design section. Now I will deactivate this DWG reference drawing because I will import a new one. I'm aligning this drawing. And I will use again the magic wand to recognize all my walls. Then copy and paste these windows. And with the magic wand, I will also insert my doors. Change the alignment and the opening direction. and edit the walls that need to be readapted. And I will also need the new stairs here. So I will open again the stairs editor and insert the new ramp. I will change the alignment point And from the Properties panel, I will insert the correct number of steps. From here I can also change the thread dimension. And so for example I can have a 25cm steps. From the Object menu I can select the window stairs that need to be inserted here. And with the Edit function I can edit the shape. And eventually I will insert these last two steps. Now confirm to exit the editor. And I can copy and paste the stairs to the other apartment. But in this case the stairs need to be flipped in this direction. Now from this floor I will copy some elements that can be pasted on the fourth floor. Also here I will use a DXF as a reference drawing. So I can use again the magic wand to recognize the walls. And to insert the windows, in this case I want to use this function from the toolbar that allows me to copy a reference window even from another level. Of course those windows need to be readapted and so I will change the dimension and eventually the position. Again, same procedures as seen before to insert the doors on this floor. As usual, I will change the alignment and opening direction. In this floor I will need to insert again all the horizontal envelopes. And so I will start from this apartment, then I will insert this one. And as for the other floor, I will use the balcony slab to design the external horizontal envelopes. Now from the 3D view, I will change the vertical dimension of these walls, because they are going to be the barrier of my balconies. Let's insert some other apertures, for example here, and here. Then select it and change the height. 